developing newer and better ways to improve lives around the world through chemistry. It's... Materials of the Future. We've come a long way since old Irving Langmuir was in the labs of General Electric dreaming up vacuum tubes. Nowadays, everyone's buzzing about how to make these newfangled computers even faster and our microchips even smaller. That's where this punch-packing PhD comes in. Jillian Buriak is a professor at the University of Alberta way up in the Great White North. As the demand for putting more and more functions on smaller and smaller chips grows, the cost of creating those chips goes up way high. Buriak and her team are working on a process that has the computer industry spinning. These are polymers that have one chemical composition that's covalently linked to another one. And what will happen under specific conditions is that these molecules will spontaneously self-assemble. So we don't have to do anything. We just put them under the right conditions. And just like nature does, they will spontaneously form a more complex shape or pattern or structure. Boy, howdy, the computer whizzes are clamoring over this technology. The semiconductor industry is very interested in this approach, which they term directed self-assembly, in order to be able to make in a very economical, i.e. inexpensive way, the small features that are necessary for next generation computer chips. But she's not stopping there. Buryak wants her self-assembling molecules to turn up inside our very own bodies. So people are interested in using these the patterns that you generate through the block copolymer self-assembly to grow cells and tissues on them and make a healthy connection, one that you can actually use. One thing's for certain, this scientist isn't slowing down until our computers are all much faster. Wouldn't it be great if you really could simply spin on or spray on a block copolymer solution onto a chip, silicon, maybe it's going to be carbon, maybe it's going to be graphene, and turn it into a billion transistor functional device. Wouldn't that be neat? Think you've got the chops to make your own material science video? We want to hear from you. Explain how material science affects everyday life and keep it simple. It can be old Hollywood or any theme. Keep it under two minutes and send it our way and you could win a trip to the MRS Fall Conference in Old Beantown.